In this video, we're going to be playing live at Mahjong time. If you don't see a live label in one of the corners of the video, this is probably the repost. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the session. Just so you know, live streaming is more interactive than pre-recorded videos. So it will be a little more social. There'll be some chatter, some banter, some commentary, lots of strategy, let's hope. So if you stick around, I hope you enjoy the session. I'm gonna go live now. Anytime I look to the left, it's because I'm checking out the live chat. Here we go. We're starting receiving content and we're live. We got green lights, so all is well in the universe. I guess it would be good if I open Mahjong Time because that's where we're going to be playing. I am an affiliate member at Mahjong Time. So if you decide to play at Mahjong Time, it would help my channel immensely if you would sign up through me. Look for information below the video so that you can play. And if you want, you could try it out for 30 days at a VIP membership. See if you like it. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the live stream. It's been a little while. Thank you for joining the live stream. Hi, Alyeska. Hi, Chris. Welcome. Oh my goodness, you know, I've been working on getting a black belt. I got so close. I was two points away from a black belt and then I tanked. Two points away and then I went all the way down to 30 points away. So I've been building my way back up. It is a long road to haul, let me tell you. Hi, Peggy. Welcome to the live stream. Yes, I've missed you guys too. It's been a while. Feels like a whole month since I haven't done a live stream. But I had family matters, of course, as most of you know. And all is well. Everybody is coping and we're finding our new normal. Hello, Sharon. Oh, that's okay. Come and go as you need to. Oh, Chris and Judy. Hi, Judy. All right, I'm gonna join the next table. Right now, they're all full. So I hope we can get in some good games. If you haven't tried to play at Mahjong Time yet, look for information below the video. I do have some 30-day VIP coupon codes through my affiliation with Mahjong Time. Some people may or may not have known that I am an affiliate so anytime someone signs up through the links I send, I do get some credit for that and it goes to help my channel. So just being upfront, I've been trying to be more and more upfront about that. Uh, whenever I send a free code, a VIP code, it's in the email. So everybody should know. Hi, Josephine, welcome. Maybe we could go ahead and start a table. If anybody has an account at Mahjong Time, come and play. I'll go ahead and start this fast enough table, I guess. It is a seven second limit, 500 chips. I have enough chips. So let's see if we can play some Mahjong. Oh, goodness, you know what? Oh, I should have recorded this one. I haven't been recording my games. I've just been trying to get that black belt. But uh, last night I was playing and I was going for a quint. I had, I believe I had one joker. I had a pung of nines, a pung of green dragons, and a pair of east winds. Somebody gave me a pair of east winds in the Charleston. So I won a quint in relatively short order, I might add. Hi, Irene. 
Thank you. It feels really good to be back. Thank you all for joining me. So uh, we have two players right now. We just need two more players and we can start a game. Uh, let's see. Chris says you have to leave at 845. Season finale. Oh, by all means. I don't know what, what, uh, what Victoria is, but is that a TV show? Okay, there's Plet. That's Peggy. Okay, we just need one more player. And we could play some Mahjong. I'm excited because I feel like I haven't played very much. I've been doing some recording videos, my regular monthly recording so I haven't been able to play much I've just been recording and editing and uploading and all that so I've been very busy oh it's a PBS show about Queen Victoria oh I like those kinds of shows all right here we go oh another thing some some uh, viewers may not be aware uh, that live streaming is social this is community based there's a lot of interaction a lot of um, chit chat back and forth and um, even some personal sharing so if you're not into that you might not want to watch live streams and probably strategy theory would be good videos for you because there's only strategy involved no chit chat this is going to be a little more social so if you like that kind of thing I hope you stick around all right so here we've got a pair of eights two pairs of eights and a pair of eights so I see a potential quint in my future. I also see like numbers and maybe east and west with eights if we get the west. So I'm going to hold all my multiples and I'm going to discard 154. Can we make that better? Maybe. No, I want to give myself an option for consecutive run. Let's do a six, one of each suit. Here we go. Another Judy. Hi, Judy. Oh, my goodness sake. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness me. Is that a joke at all? Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? All those fours? Oh. In this case, I'm not going to use them. All right, so I'm going to do five, four, nine. I'm going to give up the nine because I don't like to pass like numbers. If I had been in like numbers with fours instead of eights, for example, that would have fit right into my hand. Or if I were playing two, four, six, eight, oh my goodness, that would have gone right into my hand. Okay, we got a north, a five, and a six. Maybe we could keep that north. I don't know if that's going to be helpful, though. Oh, here's one of each suit. We really don't need the north. Let's keep it. That'll be a good one to discard. I'm thinking east and west with eights, like numbers with eights, or maybe a quint with the east red eight. We got an east and a four. So here's an east. We have to make a choice. We did get fours, but I like these like numbers here. We're definitely going to keep going. I'm not going to stop the Charleston for that. Let's give up the north, the two, and the four. Five dots keep chiming around. Yeah, but they totally don't fit what I have. I'm either thinking east and west with eights, or a quint, a quint with no jokers, my signature move. We'll get jokers eventually, I hope. If we can get a red dragon, that would be nice. There's the five. <laughs> Doesn't seem like anybody wants the five. Let's see here. We could maybe do eight, nine, eight, nine. I think maybe passing 
something a little more defensive is in order here. Let's do three, four, nine. Although it seems nobody wants that five, I probably should have discarded that instead. We got a south and a five. Yeah, let's give up the five dot. We'll pay it forward. I wouldn't mind getting a west, east and west with eights. And of course we need an eight crack, that's a gap. You gotta be a visionary though with this game. You gotta see where the hand can go. I know there's a gap, I'm well aware. Oh my goodness, another, uh, like numbers. Okay, six, seven, eight. Let's see here, six, seven, eight. If we can get some wins, maybe we could play the news pair hand. Let's just pass two, see if we can get some wins back. Uh-oh, auto. That means somebody lost connection. Uh-oh. Hi, Marsha. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome, everybody. I only see people who put in chat. Say hi in chat. But even if you don't chat, that's okay. Welcome. You're always welcome to these live streams. All right, we got a four dot. Nobody's been wanting that. It's gone around a lot. Maybe we could keep the two though, because we could potentially play a year hand, I suppose. And then we get a two. Two, four, six, eight. If we can get a four bam, which I had at one time, I believe. So here's two, four, six, eight potential. We'll see. Might have to give up on that quint. Three. We don't need a three at all. Hi, Bridget. That is my sister's name, and she spells it exactly like you do. Uh, we call her Gigi. I need a keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. If we can get the eight crack, we could play east and west with eights. We're kind of in between two, four, six, eight, like numbers with eights, and east and west with eights, and then a long shot for a quint with no jokers at the moment. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get some. Oh, there's a west. Let's give up on the six. Hold the two for joker bait. If you don't know about joker bait, this is when you keep a pair that you don't need. And then in the third wall, around the third wall, that's when you discard one. Somebody puts out an exposure with a joker, you can use the next one in exchange to get the joker. That's the idea. So I'm thinking there are no eight cracks out. If we can get that eight crack, It'll be a lot more comfortable. Yeah, the four crack's not going to work. Oh, hi, Judy. They, oh, I did say hi already, I believe. Uh, let's see. Judy Nyditz. There you are, yes. Thank you. I'm so glad the videos help. That is why I do it. I want to share the knowledge, passing it forward, paying it forward as it were. Oh, there goes the eight crack. Here's a flower. Okay, I'm gonna give up on the two because, let's see, there are two green dragons out. I probably would not attempt east and west with greens because there's two out. And the chance of me getting it is pretty slim. We'll see what happens here. Choices are dwindling though. I would really like to, oh, there's the eight crack. Okay, I think that solidifies it. East and west with eights. We need that other eight crack. There's one out right now. So we got a little breathing room, just a little. Hi, Kathy. Okay, we need an eight crack and a west. There's already a west out, so we need a joker. There's a white out, we'll get rid of that. I'm holding the flowers as joker bait.
So there are three seven cracks out in the palm. There's one eight crack out. <clears throat> and I believe the player to my left, oh, there goes the second eight crack. Oh, we got the joker. Okay, here we go. Now, this pair of flowers, let's hope. Oh, red dragon palm. Okay, we do not want that. So there are two eight cracks out. This is gonna be a nail biter. It's still early in the game. We are really just heading into the middle game. I would really love to get that eight crack or uh, pass. It's snowing in Jersey, Debbie says. Oh, yeah, it's been raining in, in Georgia all day. Okay, so uh, five, seven, nine. So they need nine dots. My The player to my left needs nine dots. There's a green dragon. Oh, I'm going to get rid of the flower. If I get that second green dragon, we could switch to east and west with dragons in case that eight crack goes down because we could always use jokers for the flowers i would still love oh there's the west okay that's what i was hoping for now we're ready to pung or kong and be ready to win on an eight crack let's hope the east goes down that's what we need to go down right quick because that eight crack is a weakness there are two out we need the east to come out. There's a north, a west, and two south south. I don't think anyone else is playing wins. So the chances of it going down are pretty good. We just don't know where it is in that wall. Uh-oh. Okay, the five dot, we do have access to that joker. The three bam is dead. There, are, The three bam's already been discarded. Oh, this has me on the edge of my seat. We need that east before the eight crack. There are two seven dots out, so that should be safe. Nine crack, ooh, I thought that was an eight. We need that east as soon as possible. There are no six cracks out. Okay, three, nobody else at the table needs wins. Okay, we just need that east to go down before the eight crack. Sounds like it's a, there's a lot of snow going on on the east coast. Pass on the eight. Oh, one bam. Oh, come on, east, where are you? Uh-oh, they lost connectivity again. Oh, thank you, Naomi. Very nice. I, encur I am encouraged by that, thank you. A crack is still uh, available, so this hand is viable. We need that east. Oh, shoot. 
five crack. Oh, it went down. We're done. There's no way to recover here. All the dragons are down. We need to just play defense at this point. Uh, this is what happens when your pair goes down. You switch to the, oh, we didn't even get that far. Okay, whew. So we have five, seven, nine mitted, this is called, because the middle number in the hand matches the dragon. So five, seven, nine knitted. And then this player who kept losing connectivity was trying to play three, four dragon Kongs, third hand down under consecutive run, but their dragons were all down, three of them. And then uh, Plett was playing, it looks like the two, four, six, eight first hand with three flowers. All right. So let's see if we can do another game. Whenever you have pairs, it's nice to have them secured, but in the east and west or north and south with pairs, that's three pair that you have to get together. That's a lot of pairs. So that is a difficult hand, I think, but we were one away, one away from ready, I should say. That was a nail biter, and that eight crack went down before the east. The east was still in the wall, I think. I don't remember seeing it in anybody's hand. So it was in the wall, and it was just a matter of time. So it was a race against the wall. Okay, here we go. Marsha joined us this time. Miss Travelbug, Marsha, and Plett. All right. Good luck, everybody. GLE. If you play online and you see GLE in the comments, that means good luck, everyone. So we're going to sort the tiles here and see what we have. A pair of Souths and a pair of Flowers. North and South with Reds would be a usage of all the multiples. But there is some consecutive run. One, two, three, four, or three, six, nine. One, two, three, four for three, six, nine. One, two, three, four for fours. One through four. Hmm. We have to pick. Let's get rid of the nine crack. We could do three, six, nine. Hmm. Three, six, nine and crack. Let's get rid of the six band. Because we could do three, six, nine and cracks with the matching dragon. That would be the very first hand under three, six, nine. We do have a gap of no six crack. Okay, now we've got two multiples with the one and the four. So we're switching to consecutive run. One, two, three, four, maybe one through five, maybe even the pair hand. At this point, I think we can give up the south and pass north or south, seven, nine. So we're gonna focus on consecutive run because then we this way we can leverage the one and the four. You gotta leverage the most of your multiples. Sometimes the multiples don't go together, like the south. At, at the beginning, the south was the strength, but then we got two multiples with a one and a four, and we have the two, three, that's consecutive. Oh, and then look, we get the north. Okay, so let's do north one, five. Uh, nine, three, 12, nine, three, we could have done 9312 edition, but that, that would mean that I'd have to throw away a pair of fours. I want to leverage the pair of fours. I want to try to, to play with all the multiples. So we keep getting north and south. North and south. Let's see. One, two, three, four. If we can get the five crack, we could play a pair hand. Let's give up on the south. Okay, you don't understand why I didn't pick up the nine crack. Are we talking for our current hand? Like why why did I discard it in a Charleston pass? Is that what you mean, Bridget? You say uh, why I didn't pick up the nine crack in the Charleston just now? 
oh, in the last game, I was playing east and west with eights. So a nine crack would not have been helpful. In the last game, I was playing east and west with eights. Okay, we have to get rid of this north. I'm thinking one through five or two, four, six, eight. We could maybe play two, four, six, eight with flowers, the very first hand under two, four, six, eight. This is a little risky passing north and south, especially with a one, but I feel like we're kind of behind the curve now. Hi, Kim, from the sunny west. Yeah, it's very gloomy on the east coast right now. Oh, we got tossed pass. This is terrible. One, two, three, hmm. Maybe get rid of those three. The one went away to a different player, so I want to send that in a, into a different direction. Eight crack, you cannot call for a pair. That's right. Oh, you meant eight crack. Yep, yeah, you can't call for a pair. That is correct. Cannot call for a pair. We're going to pass three. We're going to pass seven, four north, I think, here. North, seven, four. Let's see. We're in between two, four, six, eight with flowers, the very first hand under two, four, six, eight, or one through five with dragons pair hand. Oh, uh, we didn't get anything. So this is going to be a, a long haul. We have right now four discards, which is not too bad, but we do have a gap. We do not have the five crack. And this might be a pair hand. We have no eight crack if we play the two, four, six, eight. So either way, we have a gap. We could maybe do one, two. Oh, there's a joker. So much for the pair hand. Now we are going to focus on consecutive run or two, four, six, eight. Consecutive run. We could use the flowers as joker bait. Or if we get eight cracks, we could do an addition hand. Eight plus four equals 12. Yes, eight crack now would give us either two, four, six, eight, or eight plus four equals 12. Second hand under addition. But we'd have to break up a pair of ones. I'd rather use it. And if, if the five crack, oh, okay, so that's a little bit of a, chain, a game changer there. One, a pair, a pung of ones now. I'm kind of thinking uh, one, two, red dragon, or one, two, three, Maybe use the fours as joker bait since we have the one. There's another one. Let's get rid of the six. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking about keeping the ones here. Oh, there are two one dots out. I was thinking like numbers with ones, but there's already two one dots out. So... And that, that would render the red useless because we have cracks, one cracks. I think these ones are good to go. There's four. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Does anybody else have a fuzzy screen? Uh, looks good for me. Um, uh, are you talk, uh, Deborah, are you asking for my email address? Uh, let's see here. My email address is my first name, Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-E, at MahjongCentral.com. I'm kind of thinking one, two, dragon. There are no red dragons out right now. Uh, I don't, okay, so American Mahjong compared to Mahjong competition rules, vastly different. They're both complex. Oh, look what we got. We got a three. Okay, so one, three, five with reds could be a potential, the concealed hand. Three, four, we could play three, four red consecutive run Kongs. We'll have to take it pick by pick. We've got choices here. There's a two. Okay, let's get rid of the four crack. We've got consecutive run here. We're actually set with one two, three Kongs. This would be the fifth hand down. We can Kong each of these blocks. 
So I just discarded the four crack. Nobody wanted it. Next, I'll discard the red dragon because we do not need it, and it hasn't been discarded yet. Let's get rid of it. Okay, let's see here. Um, so regarding the Mahjong competition rules, since there are 81 scoring elements, that's a lot that you have to manage, and there are limitations and flexibilities with those scoring elements. So to me, Mahjong competition rules is... Um, I think it it um, has a different level of complexity. Complexity. American mahjong has complexities of its own. I, they're hard to compare because for American mahjong, you have to be able to take your drawn tiles and make it work for a prescribed set of hands, 52 in any given year. So you have to be able to manipulate the strength of your hand to fit prescribed combinations. And to me, that's what's complex about American Mahjong. There are different strategies involved as well in regards to jokers and flowers using um, dragons. There are all, all kinds of strategies with the tiles depending on the combinations set forth on the card. And that's unlike any other version. So American Mahjong is complex, just like any other Mahjong game, really. I think a lot of people think that American Mahjong is too easy because of the jokers, but that's not true. If you play American Mahjong, you know that it is complex. It's just different. Okay, we're going to con that. Okay, we're ready to con, ready to con. All right, let's see. Um, we learned from Slava to look at the COG and change the setting. Oh, I don't know what that means. Change the quality setting. I'm not sure. Does anybody else have a fuzzy screen? Um, the seal, I'm not sure how you, uh, if I pronounce your name correctly, we're ready to win on a one crack or a two crack right now. So as far as um, MCR and American Mahjong, I hope I explained that uh, well enough. It is a different kind of game, but it's working with the same tiles. The strategies are different, but it's, it is the same, working with the same tiles. You have to be just as much on your toes for American Mahjong than you do any other version of Mahjong. There's our win. We got it. Consecutive run, third hand down, pair of flowers, Kongs. Oh no, this is the fifth hand down. Kongs, one, two, three, consecutive run. Okay, we got a win. Let's see here. Change the quality of the setting. Is anybody else having problems with the quality? Thank you. Yeah, it feels nice to win. Winning isn't everything. The journey is fun regardless. But it, it is, uh, thank you, Sharon. It is uh, fun to play, whether you win or lose. But it does feel nice to win, I have to say. Okay, let's see. Who said they had a fuzzy screen? Okay, um... Okay, I don't remember who said they had a fuzzy screen. I'm wondering what device you're using because it could have something to do with the device. Are you on your mobile phone? Are you on an iPad? Or are you on your PC? So we have three jokers. My initial thought when I get three jokers is playing a quint. So let's see. Or in this case, we do have consecutive with one through five. So let's go ahead and, and get rid of this, let's see, we could play evens, two, four, six, eight. Let's throw the nine, four, north, uh, south. Although, if we get wins, we could play a quint with the wind dragon. Let's keep the south. All right, let's see. Uh, it cleared up. Um, okay, now, 
Let's see. Oh, look, we got a six. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should play a two, four, six, eight because that would leverage the four and the six. So let's give up on, let's see, we could do four, five, six. Let's see, four, five, six, or two, four, six, eight. We do have gaps with two, four, six, eight. We could play three, four, five, three, four, five, six, quint. Let's give up a wind. Consecutive quint, that's what I'm thinking. Three through six. We could do the three through six quint. Three, four, five, six. We need three dot and six dot. Or I'm thinking we could play two, four, six, eight. If we get the eight dot, we could play the third hand from the bottom under two, four, six, eight. I wouldn't mind playing a quint though. Oh, thank you for saying that, Alieska. Yeah. Oh, we got a seven, four, five, six, seven. We do have a south here, a pair of south. Here's an eight. Let's let's stick with consecutive and give up the three because we could do four, five, six, seven, and that way we could still play two, four, six, eight if we get the two and the eight. And we can, we could, um, if we get a seven dot, that would be really helpful for those side quints. The four and the seven here would be the quint. So let's see, we're really light, though we only have two multiples. So we got a six and an eight, those are not helpful, so we can pass those. Actually, I think I want to keep the south, maybe we'll get it back. And we could still maybe play the south red four or six quint. But that would mean giving up one of the pairs. I'd rather use both. Let's see what happens. Keep the seven dot if it shows up. Oh, yes. Okay, we got an east nine five. That's not helpful. We can get rid of those. The south was going around. Maybe we'll get it back. We got a seven. We should play that four through seven quint, the fourth one down. So we're gonna ask for three tiles. We need a five dot to get really comfortable because then we can use any number of jokers with the quints. If we can get the five dot, it'll get a lot more comfy. Since we have three pair, let's give up on the wind and dragon quint. So we need four, five, six, seven dots, or four, five, seven, because we've already got our sixes in the hand. Oh, we got another six. Mm. Okay, let's get rid of these wins. All right, so we have, if we get an eight dot or a white dragon, we might switch to the two, four, six, eight concealed hand. Um, this six dot, if we play the quint, is a throwaway. So we'll just have to wait and see what goes down. If the four or seven goes down, we'll have to make a decision on that quint. I would love to play the quint. That's a 45 point hand. But we have weakness. Oh, let's just go for it. Okay. We need a four dot or a joker and a five dot. So this is risky taking that quint, that quint right now. It's really early in the game. But we do have a joker and a, and a multiple. One of the multiples is secure in the middle, the pairs in the middle. That five dot is the weakness at the moment. I'd like to draw that seven dot. Oh, no, no, we don't need that. And nobody wanted it. 
That's too bad. I was kind of hoping we would have, oh, there's a white, white dragon. I was hoping to get that a little earlier. I might have been more likely to play that concealed evens hand, but it's too late now. Uh, the, we could hold the white dragon and see if we get a wind, maybe switch to the wind dragon quint. There's a five dot. So one five dot is out. Got to keep an eye on that. We need that for a pair. I'd like to get that five dot. Although a joker would be nice too. This is going to be another nail biter. Anytime you don't have your pair secured, it's a nail biter. Let's see here. I don't have my sound turned on in the game. Is that an issue for anybody? Let me turn it on. Two bamboos. I'll just turn it down a little. There we go. Three characters. Can you guys even hear that? Nine dots. Three okay, five. Uh, we need that five dot. Four characters. There's one five dot out. Just one is out. Two dots. No four dots are out yet. Four bamboos. I would love to get this seven dot. I'm going to put my mouse over it. White dragon. Pass. Uh, if I put my mouse over my seven... In my mind, I just feel like I'm protecting it a little bit. And I'm telling the universe that I want it. I don't really subscribe to that kind of thought process. It's just kind of fun to think about. Two dots. Oh, we didn't get it. One character. Um, I don't know what that means. Harvey? I don't know what that means, but I'm going to remove that comment. I don't know what that meant. All right, here we go. Three dots. Oh, nine dot we don't need. Nine dots. Huh. Five characters. North wind. Okay, thanks, Three Kim. Dots. Eight characters. Huh. Pung. Um. Harvey, I don't appreciate that language in the live stream. I, you are welcome to observe and and even comment if you control the language. So I'm not going to allow that Three comment. Dots. Seven characters. This is a clean channel. Five bamboos. I guess I should say G-rated. Seven characters. Three dots. We got the four. Okay, we're ready to quint. There's only one five dot out. Plum. Oops, what am I doing? I almost threw away my six. One dot. Well, I can use jokers for my four, so I'm not too worried at the Nine moment. Characters. I would still love to get the seven dot Plum. or the five dot. Mm, okay. Okay, let's see. They're playing five through nine in cracks, probably. Green dragon. Oh, this is getting interesting here. Two dots. I'm getting rid of that flower. 
chrysanthemum. Okay, that's enough out of you. Uh, let's see. Harvey Butters, you are booted from the channel. West wind. Okay, if anybody saw any of the comments from Mr. Harvey Butters, I apologize in his behalf, but he is no longer going to be allowed on the channel. North wind. Five dots. Uh-oh. That's the second one. We're in risky a risky state at the moment. We're back to needing a pair and two are out. Eight we need that four dot or the seven dot. Eight and we do not know what our these two players are, are playing. Eight dots. Orchid. Thank you, Irene. I agree. I've never had anybody like that on my channel, ever. This is the first time. Maybe that's a rite of passage, I don't know, but I do not appreciate it at all. Okay, there goes a white dragon. Thank you for the support. Oh, okay, Bonnie, thank you. Okay, there's still only two five dots out, so right now this hand is viable. But if it goes down, we're going to have to switch to defense. I don't think there's any way to recover. I don't think there's any way to recover another hand. One dot. There are no four dots out. Two dots. We got the joker. We're ready to win on a five dot. White dragon. Thank you, Shirley. Welcome to the live stream. East wind. We need a five dot to win a quint. Red. Since there are two out, I'm hoping everybody thinks it's safe. Bamboo. And nobody knows what quint we're playing. They're not going to think we're playing the wind quint and not the second quin. It's either, it's going to either be, well, I think they're going to know, but it could be any number of, of combinations or range. So they don't necessarily know. We need that five dot. Uh-oh, this is going to be the pair, a pair tile. I'm playing to win, though. Someone might win on that. Not ready. Not ready yet. Nine okay, we have two more. Oh, they got it. Ah, ready on a quint. Okay, that's all right. All right, so let me give a kudos here, and we'll go again. We're ready on the five dot. So let's see here. We have three six nine Kongs. That is the fourth hand down under three six nine. Let's see, West was playing one two one two concealed pung hand and it looks like she had two discards so she was coming into the hand but it was end game probably switching to defense at this point and then here they needed a seven crack ready to win yeah okay that's all right we can try again we're ready ready on a quint Feels good to even get ready. So let's see. Hmm. So we'll just wait for a couple more players here. We just need one more player and we can play another game. Ms. Travelbug, she's a good player, by the way. If you're ever at her table, She's a very good player. I'm sure everyone here is. If anybody plays online, they're pretty avid. Okay, what do we have? One, two dots, pairs. 
That's going to be the strength of the hand. One, two, dot. We do have the matching dragon. So I'm thinking consecutive run or maybe the year. The year hand, if we can get news. So let's go ahead and give up on the green, the six and the four, or maybe the three, actually, because then it's going to mix up the suits a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, Bridget, thank you. Oh, I, that is that kind of, those kind of posts, I think, I, I don't recall, I think I might have had one other comment at one time in two years that were inappropriate, and that was the first time it got like that. So I count myself lucky in that regard, but um, there are people out there who are, just set out to cause trouble in in the YouTube community. So you got to be prepared for those people. And we got a little taste of that tonight. Um, my challenge is going to be to not take it personally because I, I hid his comments and his subsequent post to the questionable comment was pretty bad. Okay, we'll just move on though. All right, now we have one, two, three, five, and a dragon. I was thinking we could maybe play the a year hand, two, zero, one, eight, 2018 with news, but we have a gap, no eight dot. So I think the consecutive run is better. We might even be, be able to play a pair hand if we can get a flower. So I'm gonna give up on the news year hand and we'll go consecutive because there was a gap. We did get a West. I'm going to go ahead and hold it because we could always go back. <laughs> yes, Josephine, I think you're correct. Uh, he was a bit of a kook. And we don't need it. I just hope he doesn't come back. Okay, we got a north four. Oh, we got four. Look at that. Fit right in. They would not have known that, but that was a pretty good pass, actually. One north four in two different suits with those numbers. That's a good pass. Just happened to fit right in. All we need here is to pair up the three and the four and the white and get a flower for a pair hand. And this would be the fourth hand down under singles and pairs. And this is one reason why you do not want to pass flowers. Let's pass the north. Someone mentioned to me, and I really like this line of thinking, if you try not to pass souths, that's a good idea because there's one hand in the Wind and Dragon category that uses a pair of souths. So I've been holding back on south. I think that's a good idea. We got another four, and we have three tiles to pass. Let's see if we can get three tiles. So we need a three dot and two flowers. And then, of course, the white dragon. Three dot, flower, white dragon. That's what we're after. No keepers. We did get the eight dot. That was the gap. We'll hold the eight dot. Get rid of these two. We don't need the four crack or the seven dot. Three characters. North wind. Now, flowers. Ooh, joker bait. Although if we're playing a pair hand, we do not need joker bait. We could play the one through five consecutive run hand in one suit. The very first hand under consecutive run, we could play that hand and use jokers. So let's just hold the fours. There goes the south. It was pretty good, three discards, which is good. I try to have 
four discards or less after the Charleston. So that was a really good Charleston. One character. But we do have a gap if we're playing a pair hand. We have no what flowers. And that is a challenge because sometimes you don't get flowers. Nine dots. Especially, oh, there's one. Look at that. We got it. Eight dots. Okay, no gaps now. So we're two away from a pair hand after one, two, three discards. That is not too bad, but three bamboos. There's, this is not a done deal by any means. Huh. The white dragon, there's only three dragons, three who knows? Bamboos. Okay, uh, let's see, four crack, we'll get rid of that. Four the two dot, if we play the one through five, one suit consecutive run hand, the very first one under consecutive run, we do not need a three of a kind Six of the two dot. dot. So we could probably get rid of that. Nine bamboos. East wind. Four bamboos. Hung. Three, four. Okay, they could be playing three, four, five, six. Three, four, they could be playing one through five. One through five, one suit. Okay. So they're probably pay playing either the first or second hand under consecutive run. Seven bamboos. One character. They could be playing three, four, five, six. Two bamboos. The five sixes are wide open with dots and cracks. And it won't affect this hand because we have our pair of fives already secured. Seven bamboos. Okay, one, two. Four we now have two pungs in one and two. But I think I will let them go and try for this pair hand. There's one three dot out Nine right now. Bamboos. We could always fall back on the very first consecutive run hand. Six dots. Four characters. Five dots. We don't need that. Now two five dots are out. Let's see. No, just one. One five dot. Six characters. Hmm. Okay. Three dots. Uh-oh, there's the second three dot. There's only one more left, and we need it. So we may need to switch to that one through five consecutive run hand, the very first one. Five. Or we could play one, two Kongs with dragons and use the fours as joker bait. Five. That's another option. Kong. Okay, they're playing one through five. So they need a one bam and a two bam. There are two two bands out, Green so we need to be careful with that. Two characters. Two characters. We're two away from a pair hand right now. Orchid. The three dot is the challenge at the moment. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the two. We got the flower. We're two one dots. away now. The three dot is the stickler at the moment. Six if dots. we can get a three dot or a white dragon, we'll be ready. Eight bamboos. Four bamboos. Seven characters. White dragon. Okay. That's the first one. Kong. Kong. There's two. Two white dragons. Two characters. There's still a white dragon out. Eight characters. So let's just hold on. Six bamboos. Two white dragons are out. Kong. This hand is still viable. Nine characters. Another nail biter. Four dots. We're gonna pass. 
one character. Six characters. There are no one dots out, so I'm a little nervous about this one dot here. South wind. Eight bamboos. Nine bamboos. Oh, three crack. Three characters. Eight bamboos. This pair hand is still viable. I'm going to try to push it Eight characters. until it goes down or one away to, uh, from ready. Chrysanthemum. Three bam. I feel like three we're characters. the bed of a joke at the moment. We got a three crack and a three bam. Uh-oh. That hand is going to be pure if they get it. Someone just took the joker. If you take all the jokers from those exposures, they need two pair. This is going to be a pure hand if they get it. Eight dot. We don't need that. Eight dot. So whenever you play, if you're new to this game, try to leave a joker in an exposure Seven so that you're not going to create a pure hand for your opponent. Four characters. They're going to end up with a, with a pure dots. hand if we're not careful. Oh, no. I'm getting rid of the one. one. Oh, shoot. The one bam. Wouldn't you know it? Five we're playing a pair hand. I'm probably going to throw this characters. one bam. Six if we can get ready, I'm going to throw that one bam. Brace yourselves. There are two two bams out right now. Eight characters. Now we could. Mm, one this character. is tricky because we could take that white dragon. Joker. Oh, there. I'm going to do it because we're ready on a pair hand. One bam. We're ready on a pair hand. Hold your breath. There it is. Darn it. It's a risk. And it's pure. But we got ready on a pair hand. Oh, very nice. I played a win. Yep. Yep, that's okay. I'm okay with that. I am happy to do it because I was ready on a pair hand. I played a win. Okay, if that made anybody cringe, write pound cringe in the comment section right now. That's okay. Thankfully, it's just a game and nobody's life is at stake. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah. yeah. I played a win. I can't, you know. Would you guys have broken up your hand for that? Would you have broken up your hand? The problem is we would either break up the hand and play defense one away from a pair hand, or switch to one through five, get that white dragon and discard flowers. Either way, there was going to be risk. And the five dots were all out. So I don't think there was any way to work that one out. I'm, I was going to do it. And, you know, <laughs> all right, let's move on. In a tournament, I might also fall on my sword. But since this is just an online game, I'm okay. All right, here we go. We've got three jokers again. Let's see if we can get a redemptive game here. So we have threes and sixes or six, seven dragon. I'd kind of like to play a quint though. What about the three, six, nine quint? Either that or like numbers, like numbers with threes or like numbers with sixes. So let's go ahead and build around the, the flowers at the moment. We could maybe even do, let's see, three, six, nine, or like numbers with threes and six flowers. I was thinking we could play the three, six, nine with the dragon. We have a gap with no nine crack though. Thank you, Kim. Uh, 369 Quint, that's what I was thinking. 
If we can fill that gap with the nine, I think that's a good idea. Oh, Chris, thank you. She says she would play to win too. Oh my goodness, that's kind of painful though. I, <laughs> and you're thinking, they're playing this, this pure hand over there and you're thinking in your head, at least this is what I was thinking, I better not get that one. I don't want to get that one, not the one bam. Don't let me get that one bam, please. And then I get the one bam. Yeah. Three other players at that table and I draw the one bam. Yep, Judy, I like that thinking. Okay, now though, look, we have a pair of threes. I'm kind of thinking the three, six, nine, quint or like numbers with six flowers. Let's see what happens. I think a win would be good after that last hand. Even if it is just a 25 point hand. Redemption. There's a nine. Maybe we could do three, six, nine with BAMs. Let's give up the red. Three, six, nine with BAMs, Quint, instead of cracks. Leveraging the multiple. <laughs> okay. Kit, is it? KT Butch Bush. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Oh, look, we got the three threes. Okay, let's see. I I think we should stick with three six nine or the three six nine quint. I do not want to pass six four six seven in one suit. I'm kind of thinking we should give up on the three and mix it up a little bit. Just a little bit. We could always play threes with flowers using the crack, the three crack. Two, four, keep the two, four crack. Wait, keep two and four crack for the like number quint. We have a pair of threes. The like, and we have flowers. I wanna leverage the flowers. There's only one hand under quince that uses flowers. All right, we're gonna get rid of these. Let's see here, yeah, here we go. Okay, here we go, we need three, six, nine. Three, six, nine and BAMs, we need that six BAM. Here we go with pairs again. We have a gap in our pair, that's terrible. This is a big risk big risk. So here we have four, six, eight, sixes. Let's get rid of it. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> I want to have options, so I'm going to keep the three, and I don't want to pass a six, eight in one suit. Okay, so Josephine says if you get a one and a two bam, you could do addition. That is a really good point. I like it. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, here's a one. Let's go ahead and get rid of the six and keep the four. We'll pass three. I like that idea, Josephine, if we can get a one, two, bam, or even one of them. Because we could always get down to, we could always get down to singles for a winning position or a waiting position, I should say. Here we go. Hi, Christina. We could try to do a, a private game after this. Oh, look, we got the three back. Let's just hold it. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Let's get rid of the six. There's another flower another flower. Maybe we should play the addition hand. 
or 3434 concealed. That would be Peng Peng. Peng Peng. Peng Peng. Peng Peng. 3434. There's the six. Let's get rid of the three. Okay, we could actually do the quint. We could actually do this quint. Let's go ahead and prepare to discard the three four, starting with the four band. Okay, Christina, you just need to log in. Do you have an account at Mahjong Time? I, can, I don't remember. I think you do. Just log in and, and wait, and I will start a table, and then I will invite you to the table. And then I will also look and see who else is, is in the community there, and I'll invite them, and we'll have a private game. Okay, so we need a nine ban and more jokers at this point. We've got our pair in the flowers, which is good because flowers are really hard to get. We have a single six ban. That is a weakness right now, especially the way things have been going for me with pairs. So if we can get a six ban and another joker or a nine ban, that would be fabulous. Six dots. And we get a four. Three, four, three, four. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to get rid of a flower. We do not need that extra flower. Bamboo. Because you know what I was thinking? We could, instead of playing the quint, play three, four, three, four pungs. We're going to pass on that. So we could play three, four, three, four pungs. We're two away from that hand. Six bamboos. We're going to pass on that. We need that as a pair. This three, four may go. There's another four. Okay, we need to leverage that. I'm going to give up on the quint. We'll try a quint another time. We're one away from a concealed hand. This would be the last hand under consecutive run. You can have a game plan in your mind, but you want to leverage the multiples, and we ended up with a pung of fours, which did not fit the three, six, nine quint. We're one away from a concealed hand now. We need uh, three bam, three crack, or four crack. Seven characters. Five bamboos. We could, in this case, Bonnie, fall back on like numbers with fours. Five dots. But I'm thinking the concealed hand is good. Three dots. There are no three bams out. West wind. One three crack, no four cracks. So I think this is pretty wide open at the moment. One character. And we're still in the begin game. Seven bamboos. One bamboo. One dot. Four bamboos. We're going to pass. This is concealed. Okay, um, the Charleston, we're going to pass on that. This is a concealed hand. Okay, so someone asked here, the seal. Oh, pass. This is concealed. Oh, and we got the six ban. Can you believe that? So the seal, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that, so forgive me if I'm incorrect in the pronunciation. For the Charleston, the first three passes are obligatory, right across left. You can pass blind on the first left, up to three tiles. The second Charleston, which is left across right, is optional. You can stop it for any reason. Nobody has to even... Seven no, you, you don't have to explain yourself. You can stop the second Charleston, and then you still qualify to do an optional cross negotiated from the player across from you. The Charleston is, we're going to pass on that. That's the first one out. So the Charleston, the purpose of it is to better your starting position going into the pick and discard phase of the game. So the Charleston is phase one. And the pick and discard phase of the game, which is where we are now, is phase two. Nine and it's about half and half as far as the timeline of a hand. Red, red. So we're ready to win on a three bam, three crack, or four crack. And we are in the middle game. So I hope that helps with the Charleston. 
it's it's basically the way I like to think of it is you get three picks at one time from your opponents. So if you're playing with someone who doesn't care about defense, you could potentially get really great tiles in the Charleston. If you're playing with defensive players, you may or may not. It just really depends. But I think America, well, really all Mahjong is a, a game that requires players to be, to have great awareness of what is happening at the table. For American Mahjong, you've got to know what is going around in the Charleston. And you can really turn your hand around on a dime during the Charleston with that awareness. Four and there's Mahjong. Mahjong. So we did 3-4, three, 3-4 four, three, four concealed pung hand. Last one under consecutive run. Yep, thank you, Bonnie. Okay, let's see if we can we can uh, get a private game going now. So Christina, if you're still in there, um, go ahead and log in. Anybody who wants to play a private game, log in and I will invite you. So I am going to create a table called Yellow Mountain. Yellow Mountain. 500 drag, we'll just make it 250 dragon chips. Okay, advanced, I think that's going to negate what I picked, so I'll redo that. 250, I will seat the players. We'll do a 10 second wait, so anybody new to the game, you can come in. I'm going to do a 10 second table. You need a green stripe though, I'll go ahead and create the game. Okay, now I will invite people. So I'm going to try to find Christina. Christina. Let's see. Okay, I guess I need to know your, your player name. Christina, what's your player name? Okay. Christina... Oh, they weren't supposed to be able to uh, join. I was supposed to... S oh, they're a requester. I have to seat them. Uh, let's see. Christina, are you still here? Let's see. There's Josie. I'll invite Josie. Oh. Oh, I'm on an ignore. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. Let's see here. Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay, so um, Christina, is your player name Raplot? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we'll try this again, um, Christina, because I can't find you. So we'll try another uh, table. I'm going to go ahead and seat these other players so we can get a game going. I'll have Marsha. So we have East, West. Um, Christina is not on our Mahjong Time spreadsheet. Okay, thank you for checking, Judy. That was really smart. So I don't know, is Safari71, I don't know who that is. Raplot. Okay, I'm going to invite rap lot because I don't know who which player name Christina is so we have east south west and north so we'll make that player north and um, Safari I'm sorry we have we have our four we'll try another one so Christina if your player name is Safari um, I did not know so we're gonna go ahead and play and then we'll do another table Okay, this will be interesting because we have a pair of nine or norths, pair of norths. However, we have a lot of six, seven, eight, nine singles. 
we might even be able to play the 998 pair hand. So I'm going to go with consecutive and I am not going to build around my multiple. I'm going to use maximum usage as my strategy for this game. That means I'm going to use the most of my tiles regardless of multiples. And this is a good way to go if you're trying to force something. Like if I try to force the 998 pair hand, this is the second hand down. You need three suits, 998 in one suit, 99887 in a second suit, and then pairs 987 in a third suit. So let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, it seems like that's exactly what we just passed. That's kind of funny. We're going to pass it. Oh, yeah, I'll keep that. There was some year potential there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to pass a north-south one. That's pretty risky. We want nines and eights. Nine, eight, seven. That's what we want. Six through nine. No, we got a five. Mm. Okay, we're going to pass these along. We specifically, I would love to get seven through nine. This would be called upper tiles in Mahjong competition rules. But they would basically be chows and a pair. So there's, yeah, that probably was not a really good analogy, I guess. Okay, we're going to keep going. We'll do 1-5 west. That's not too bad. Although, we could do 5 through 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's give up the 6. We really don't need that. Christina, are you still in the live stream? I should look on my... Um, Marjan, my, my, uh, mm. yeah, I don't have the time really. Hopefully she'll come back and chat. I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're looking through five through nine. That's what we're looking for. Five through nine. Consecutive run. Maybe the nine, nine, eight pair hand. We got the six back. Okay. We're going to pass it through. Oh, there you are. Christina, what is your player name? We got a nine, by the way. Let's stick with it. Nine, 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 eight, nine, eight, seven, nine, eight, seven, five through nine. Okay, they went three tiles. Okay. Christina, you could always send me an email or something, and I can check my email if you don't want to advertise. <clears throat> or you could log in and send me a chat in the game. That would not be advertised either. Oh, we got a seven. Look at that. Seven, seven, nine, eight, seven. Okay, we're into the game now. All right, here we go. So we're going to hold every seven, eight, nine. Maybe the five bam and six bam because we could fall back on five through nine consecutive run the very first hand. One of the things I don't know if you noticed about pair hands, we got a seven. Okay, there's a pung. Sound that is something to consider. If we get a seven crack, Dumb. we could play five, seven, seven, nine, big odds. Four characters. So we have two tiles before we have to decide. But this is a consecutive run pair hand that I'm considering. Whenever you're playing a pair hand, it, it corresponds to one of the categories on the card. So if that pair hand doesn't come through, you can always switch to that category. So in this case, consecutive run. So we're in between consecutive run and the 998 pair hand. There's a seven crack. We can also potentially play big odds, five, seven, seven, nine. So we'll see. We still we still have discards. Excuse me. We have three, four discards right now. That was a bit of a challenging. There's an eight crack. Look at that. It filled in. I think we should go for the pair hand. Let me put it in order of the card. 
um, because they put it backwards. I don't know why. Descending order for some reason. North wind. Okay, there we have it. East wind. Nine eight seven. We have three discards. North wind. Nine eight seven. Nine nine eight. I call that the nine nine eight pair hand. Dot. Second one from the bottom under singles and pairs. There's one eight crack out right now. One character. One eight crack. One nine bam. Character. So you got to keep an eye on these tiles when when you're playing a pair hand. Two dots. One bamboo. One character. I like this hand actually. It is a fun hand to play. It kind of keeps you on your toes because you never know what the nine nine eight eight seven seven is going to be. Five okay, there's another seven. Let's get rid of that because if we play five through nine, seven if we play five through nine, we only need a pung of seven bams. So that was kind of a redundant tile. Two now, what will be interesting here is if we pair up the five or the six. Three dots. Six crack we don't need. Six characters. Hi, Syl. Thank you. Yeah, I um, pair hands, I think, are, are great. Don't hesitate to play them because if it doesn't work out, you can always revert back to that category for whatever pair hand you're playing. In this case, consecutive run. Three characters. So um, we could play, there's a few hands under consecutive run that we Two can switch characters. to if we have to. We could even play big odds. So maybe the six bam would be a good tile to discard because we could still play five, seven, seven, nine. Three bamboos. One bamboo. Chris, do you think it boggles your mind because it's backwards? It's in descending order? I don't know why they did that. It's the only time I've ever seen them do that. We got a seven dot. I'm going to throw the six. Bam. So now we have an option. Even though we really only need nine, nine, eight, we do have an option now with the seven. There are two eight, eight dots out. So that's going to narrow the opportunity there. Three dots. Maybe. Six bamboos. I'm going to get rid of that now. I'll go ahead and move the seven, the bams over to indicate oh. that as the probability there. Green dragon. I'm glad I got rid of that flower. We got the eight. Look at that. Five. Okay, we're two away. Two away from the pair hand. We need a nine dot, a nine bam, and an eight bam. There's one nine bam out. The eight bam's open. Nine dot, there are two nine dots out. This is gonna be another nail biter. Eight characters. We're good there. We need that nine dot badly. The nine dot is what we really, really need. Okay, everybody think about that nine dot. We need that nine dot. Green dragon. Nine bamboo. Yeah, Chris, that is the challenge with this hand. Seven dots. Flower, discard. That's the fifth one out. Nobody wanted it. Fifth one out. Two dots. Nine bamboo. Okay, nine bam. That's the second one. Oh, oh, okay, it's over. It's over. Now we need to recover. Nine eight. Um, there are three nine bams out. So this hand is done. We need to reassess. And we have one little less than a full wall left. So let's recover now. I'm thinking seven, eight with flowers. If we can get a flower, there are 
two, four, six out. Yeah, jokers can't help. The hand went dead. So we need to, to let's see here, seven, eight, seven, eight. We'll get rid of the south. We may just need to play defense at this point. The hand went dead with the nine bam. Somebody threw a nine bam. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Like numbers with eights. We have no flowers, no dragons. There are three green dragons out. One character. I think we should just play defense at this point. We have one, two, three, four, five, six picks. That's the risk you take when you play a pair hand. This late in the game, I don't think that we have a recourse with the consecutive run category, primarily because we have no flowers and because we're in the big numbers, seven, eight, nine, a lot of the combinations are four numbers in a range. So we're really in a tough position. This hand is, is a little bit of a challenge to switch out if you don't have flowers. We could maybe do eight, nine, eight, nine, but all the nines, the nines are all out. Yeah, we should definitely play defense at this point. So we're just going to discard tiles that are out. So the nines are good to go. The nine dot, the nine bam, those are good to discard. We have one, two, three more picks. Nine dots, a good discard. We did get the five, seven, seven, nine, big odds but we only have two more picks and we have one, two, three, four, five discards, six, eight, no, seven discards. So we need to find a discard. Oh, they got it. So we have an addition hand. We have five, seven with 12. Okay, so addition hand, seven, five, 12. Plett was playing two, four, six, eight concealed they were two away had jokers which is nice marcia was playing like numbers with four she was ready to win ready to win on a four bam or a four crack double weight okay here we go let's see if we can oh <laughs> All right, so we need another another player here. Okay, Jerry, big odds. If you look at the odds category, I don't know if you have a card in front of you or not, but in the odds category, there are two hands for this year anyway. This may change with the next year's card. But in this year's card, there are two out of seven hands that span one, three, five, seven, nine, the full range, one, three, five, seven, nine, the first one and the second from the bottom, all the rest of those hands. So the other five are either one, three, five, which I call little odds or five, seven, nine, which are big odds. So when you're playing, if you have primarily big numbers, go for big odds and get rid of your little odds. Vice versa, if you're primarily holding one, three, five little odds, you can discard the big odds and still have the potential of five other hands that you can potentially play because it's divided that way. I hope that makes sense. And here we go, another game. So big odds, little odds, that's what that refers to. Five of those hands have an or, one, three, five, or five, seven, nine. Little odds or big odds. So I think, oh, I think uh, we're at that, uh, I guess I'll be south. Oh, who's the creator here? Only the creator settings. Let's see, info. Uh, okay, wrap lot. 
So wrap lot, you need to seat us. Click on the little square to assign us to a seat. Okay, click on the little square to assign us a seat. Let's see if she can see that. Wrap lot. Oh, you know what, Judy? She is. That is her. I remember now. Kikan. Kikan. Kaka. Kaka. Kikan. That reminds me of that childhood game, Kick the Can. Um, on iPad. Where is it? Oh, I don't know on the iPad. I think we need to exit. Um, because, okay, we need to, we need to exit, exit the game and we'll start over. Let's see, Yellow Mountain, I'm going to go ahead and join Yellow Mountain again. Let's see if it'll let me. Let's see. Nope. Raplot is the owner of this table. Okay, everybody exit the table. Okay, let's see if we can get this going here. Oh, hi, Peg. Uh, let's see. Let's see if everybody's out now. Hmm. Okay, Raplot is still in there as the table owner. Let's see. Yep, let's see. I don't see a game to join. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, I exited the table. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm just going to join a different table and see because my name was still on there. So I'm going to join that and now I'm going to exit again. And I'm going to look at Yellow Mountain. So this is the table. Marsha exited, so wrap lot. Okay. So we'll get her to get out of that game. She's still on there. Hmm. Nope, she's still on there. Okay, let's see. Nope. <laughs> she's still on there. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to join a different table. I think there's still some, it's a little convoluted at the moment. Bear with me. Okay. Yellow Mountain. Nope, she's still the owner of that table. I think we just have to let it go. We're just going to join another table. I don't want to go on too much longer here without a game. I tried to text her a couple times in the game. She's on an iPad, so she may not see it. Nope, she's still part of that game. We're just going to start another table. Oh, thank you, Alyeska. Let's see, do you live stream like this one every Sunday? Um, let's see. First Sunday is National Mahjong League. Second is Hong Hong Kong. Third is Richie. No. National Mahjong League. Siamese. Oops. And then fourth is Ricci, and fifth is MCR. 
There we go. Okay, so every Sunday I do live streams, and I do five different versions. The first Sunday is National Mahjong League. Second is Hong Kong. Third is Siamese Mahjong with National Mahjong League rules. Fourth is Ricci. Fifth is Mahjong competition rules. That's the game plan. We're just going to join this table so we can... Oh, someone already got it. Okay, let's see. Oh, good. Okay, Yellow Mountain. We can play now, I think. Uh, nope, she's still on there. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. I wonder... I'll have to ask Slava about that. That's kind of strange. I'm going to join this table. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can play another game. I would love to play a quint. Let's see if we can play a quint, if we can get some jokers. Okay, we got Plet. We need one more player. So, um, if you like to play other versions of Mahjong, check in um, on, on my YouTube channel on the About page. It will say on there what my schedule is. And all the videos that are associated have a different day for release. So if you play other versions, I do focus on five primary versions of Mahjong for several different reasons. If you're interested, I can tell you about it. We need one more player. And uh, as far as my uh, ability, my skill, um, for American Mahjong, I consider myself to be an advanced player. I've been playing since 1990. I've been playing Mahjong literally since 1973, so all my life. So um, I do have a lot of experience with many versions of Mahjong. I consider myself an advanced player for Hong Kong Mahjong, and then I am new. I'm a beginner for Ricci, primarily because it is so complex strategically. So I am just learning uh, how to incorporate strategy into my game. I know the basics, but I need to learn strategy and um, Ricci judgment and things like that. For Mahjong competition rules, I know all the scoring elements. I'm just learning the nuances, but I do consider myself to be, I would say, probably beginner intermediate for Mahjong competition rules. So give me some grace if you're more advanced in those versions. So we're going to play consecutive run probably, one through five. So I'm going to discard, though we've got tiles that um, are a bit sketchy there. Uh, hello, Linda. OK, we'll try to do one more private game after this. So we can get rid of all these tiles. We have six discards right now. But we do have one through five and the matching dragon. So I think we can do seven, four, get rid of seven, four, and maybe a wind. Oh, Joan. Thank you very much for that encouragement, Joan. I am so glad the videos have helped you. That is why I do what I do. I want more and more people to learn to play and gain confidence so they can have more fun at the table. That's why I do it. And to bring awareness of the game to America, because a lot of people don't even know about Mahjong, to tell you the truth. Some people have not even heard of Mahjong. Okay, here we go, one through five, one through five, that's what we're playing. Oh yeah, chat. There's chat on the iPad now. It's a little bit, you know, you gotta get used to using it. I played with it once so far and it's very nice to have that feature. So thank you Slava and his team at Mahjong Time. So we definitely wanna keep going. Okay, we'll, we'll try to play at Yellow Mountain next time. 
why maybe someone could go in there and be the uh, table owner and they can actually invite and seat players after this game so right now I'm thinking one through five the first hand under consecutive run but you really don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards so I don't want to pick a hand yet if we get a nine dot for example we could play one three five seven nine we're kind of in between really let's get rid of the red we could probably play one more game after this let's see if we can get some one through five consecutive tiles or the nine dot oh look at we got a three dot that's a keeper three dot right there and we have tiles we can pass so we're good I think the seven dot can probably go probably the pair hand might might not be good because we have a pung if we get the one and the five dot and maybe a flower we could play consider the concealed little odds hand So we can pass three. Let's leave one, three, five, seven, nine. No, I'm going to give up the seven. We'll give up the three. Seven, three. That's not useful. Okay, Marsha, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. If anybody else needs to take off, thank you for joining the live stream. We got a keeper, five dot, and we have Joker bait with the one. Oh, someone got rid of it. All right, that's okay. So I'm thinking probably if I had to pick a hand, I would play the one through five consecutive run hand, the first one under consecutive run. Three characters. West wind. Four crack is out. We can throw that. Four characters. The one crack might still be good joker bait. I'm going to hold on to it as long as I can. So I'm going to hold that. East wind. We need a two dot to really feel confident here because that's going to be a pair. There's a flower. Now we have some hope with the pair hand. We'll have to get rid of a three dot, but if we get a two dot and a four dot, and then of course the white dragon, we could play the pair hand. We're three away from a pair hand, which would be really nice actually. There is a four dot out, and that's one of the tiles we need. North wind. One bamboo. East wind. North wind. Okay, Chris, thank you for coming. Have fun watching Victoria. I'm gonna look into that, except I have to wait for it to come on Netflix because we don't we don't watch TV here. We do not have, you know, cable or whatever. We don't watch TV. We, we watch either on our iPad, like Netflix and YouTube. Six we don't really watch TV. I'm kind of thinking that the 135 concealed hand might be a good choice here because we have a pair of ones, a pung of threes, and a pung of fives. So I think the pair hand should probably be... Off the table. West wind. I'm thinking the one three five concealed hand would be good. Eight characters. Eight characters. There's a white dragon. I think that solidifies it here. Eight now, <laughs> if we get a two dot or a four dot, South I might go for that pair hand and discard the three and the five. Right now, we're two away from the concealed hand, and we're two away from the pair hand. Let's see what we get. We could always use jokers three for characters. the one, three, five. So we can still maybe play that pair hand. Eight There's one four dot, two four dots are out. That's going to be the, oh no, two never mind. Characters. There's three four dots out, so we are definitely playing one, three, five. I just noticed, two dots. and there's the two dot. Too, too late though, all the fours are out. Four dots. So we'll play one, three, five concealed. 
it's still a four, um, a 30 point hand. All we need here is a flower and then we can just use jokers as needed or the natural tiles for the rest. And we have joker bait with the two. One character. There's a flower. So we're one away from a concealed hand, one, three, five with dragons. The flower is the pair and then pungs, three of a kind, one, three, five and the matching dragon. And none of those tiles are out right now. So it's wide open. Okay, thank you, Peg. Six bamboo. We got another flower, Two a three. Months. We'll make it pretty. It doesn't matter what number the flower is for American Mahjong, it just looks pretty. I wanna get rid of this flower though, really quick. I don't like to hold on to those. Red dragon. We need a one dot or a white dragon. We could maybe even play it pure. Two bamboos. Kong. Pure means you have no jokers in a hand that can use jokers. Nine bamboos. Okay, Peg. I think Marsha is still on. Oh no, Marsha left. Okay. Six bamboos. Okay, let's see. Eight dots. Okay. Seven bamboos. Let's see here. I'm going to pull up my calendar. So the third Sunday, one, two, th one, two, three, four, twenty fourth. So the twenty fourth will be Richie. The 24th will be Richie. Maybe we could play together. Four characters. I would love for the community to grow the Richie community so we can play more games. So the two bam is available. There are no one dots out, no three dots are out, no white dragons are out either. One bamboo. There's a three dot. We don't really need it. I'm going to get rid of the flower though. Plum. This three dot should be a good tile to discard. Nine characters. We are in the end game now. Almost actually. We're at the end of the middle game. So we still have one discard to get ready. Nine bamboos. Two crack. Get rid of it. Two characters. Okay, we're one away here. We need a one dot or a white dragon or a joker will do as well. The two bam would be nice. We could snag that joker over there. Red dragon. So let's see. One dot, one white dragon. That's what we Red want. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, Nine. we're definitely in the end game now. There are no three dots out, Seven and I have dots. three of them, or four of them, so I'm going to throw a fresh tile, okay, but please. technically I have all the all of them, so they're accounted for in my hand. East wind. There's the second nine crack. Nine characters. Oh, Peg, you'll have to exit the table in order for me to go into it and become the leader. So if you exit, I'll join after this game. Eight dots. Ah, oh, west. West wind. Now the five bam. There's only one one more out, so we can we can um, maybe draw that five bam, get a joker, and get ready. Nine dots. I wouldn't mind doing this pier though. Three characters. Ah, oh, six dot. That's a good safe tile anyway. Six One dot. Okay, pass. First one out. Nobody wanted it. That's a good thing. Red dragon. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six picks. That's a good discard. Four now are out. Five discard or five picks to go. We have one discard, so this hand is viable. Five characters. 
The 2 BAM and the 5 BAM are both available. Five characters. No, that's, that should be safe. Six Third one characters. down. Okay, that's safe. Eight oh, okay. Characters. Six characters. Nine dots. Five BAM, there we go, got it. Got the five BAM. Bamboo. You just click on the, the uh, glowy tile Three. in order to do the exchange. We're ready on a one dot or a white dragon. Oh, that's interesting. Two so they need a white dragon. They're playing a knitted hand. We may not get that white dragon. They probably have it. Six if we draw, let's see. Bamboo. Let's see what we get. We could take that joker, no. Five. Two crack, two crack. Nope, we don't need that. We need a two one characters. dot to win. They need a one dot. This player to my right, north. Three bamboos. Five dots. Nope, we don't need that. We need a one dot. And nobody wanted it when it was discarded a minute ago, so I'm hoping it goes down. Nine dots. That's a good safe discard. North wind. We need that one dot. Wait, what are they Six doing? Bamboos. Oh, two, three, four. They need four bams and a white dragon. East wind. Uh-oh. One more pick. Three bamboos. Mahjong. We got it. <laughs> Woohoo! I wish you could move the tile. I'd like to put that joker with my one. So we almost got pure, but I'll take a win. That's good. Okay, so let's uh, quickly look at what everybody has. Uh, this player, North, they were trying for two, three, four knitted. That's where you have a two bam, three dot, four bam, and then the matching dragon for the middle tile. That's called knitted. Then here for uh, East, we had, it looks like, um, oh, they were playing 8, 4, 12. It looks like they were trying to play maybe a addition hand, a mix suit. And then here, 5, 7, 9 with dragons maybe? Uh, no, or 4, 5. 4, 5 Kongs with the dragon. They had one discard, so they were one away. Okay, so let's see if we can do one more game. One more game with Yellow Mountain. Let's see here. It looks like it's gone. Okay, so we're going to create a new game. I'll create a new one. So I, I clicked on New Game and I will make it inexpensive. 250 Dragon Chips. Okay, and we'll go to Advanced Settings. I will seat players. We'll have a 10 second uh, time frame. Put it back to 250 and I will create the game. All right, now I will invite Peg. Let. Okay, and then, oh, there's another peg, peg, author peg, peg. We'll invite that. Now I'll look and see if this um, Kit Can, Kit Can, I'll see if she's in here. Kit Can, Kit Can, oh, she's not in here. Oh, Christina, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you're still in the live stream. Did anybody get an invite? Oh, thank you, Alieska. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Okay, there's Plet. Okay, uh, let's see here. Who else do we have here? I think M. Joan. I believe I know her. We'll invite her. And then let's see here. Where's Josie? Is, oh, there's Kikian. There, I found her. Let's see if we can get her in here. Okay, there's Peg. 
And we got her. There she is. Okay, I'm going to make her east. And we'll say uh, Peg, author Peg, is going to be south. Plet, who is also Peggy, she can be west and I will be north. Okay, we're ready to go. We're seated and the game will begin. This will be the last one for this live stream. There. Okay, now here we go. We got lots of cracks. Let's see if they go together. Look at those cracks. Two, three, four, five. We're going to play consecutive run. Clearly, all those multiples, consecutive run. Two through six, pair hand. We have no jokers, so always consider a pair hand if you have no jokers. Six, nine, seven, it's a little risky, but I don't like passing white dragons. They're a dual tile, a dragon, and a zero. And not only that, but dragons, if you don't have to pass dragons, don't do it. Because there are only three. There are fewer of them, and they're in every category on the card but one. They're not in addition, but they're all over the card. So I try not to pass dragons if I don't have to. Okay. Oh, not 20 day. there okay we got the one we got the one we got the one so we have tiles to pass and we have a little flexibility we could maybe play the one through five consecutive run hand one suit if we can get that one crack that will feel a little bit better and then we can get rid of the six We have no gaps. Well, unless we play the pair hand, then we have a gap. We have no red dragon and we have no flower. So we have tiles to pass. At this point, I'm going to give up the six crack because we've got a one. Although we could keep some flexibility and give up the white. Let's do it. If we're playing a pair hand, it's worth the risk to pass those dragons. So you just have to really assess, assess the risk. Try not to pass them. That would be mitigating the risk. But here we assessed. We're playing a pair hand maybe. So I think it's going to be worth it. We'll see. We have three tiles to pass. Really four. Because we could give up either the one or the six. We have a gap though with the pair hand. No flowers. No red dragon. And people typically do not pass flowers. Especially the people at this table. I know them all pretty well, and I do not think they would pass flowers. They probably won't even pass dragons. Uh oh, I dropped something. Okay, we have tiles to pass, so we're good. A little risky with the 9 7, but that's okay. We're playing a big hand, maybe. So this will be the last game. Thank you for sticking in there with me. We had a nice um, group of people playing at Mahjong Time. I'm so glad that we have a community of players. If you want to try it out, send me an email, and I can send you that code so you can come and try. And it does help my channel. So I do get some benefit, thankfully, because I put a lot of uh, work into this channel. It's a labor of love. I'm not complaining. I love it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, look, we got a keeper and a pung. So I think we should probably not focus on the pair hand so much. I think the first consecutive run hand is, is probably a good way to go to leverage the pung of fives. 
So let's give up the six and we'll play one through five. All we really need here is a one crack, but we're really set. We could pung the three, the four, and con the five. This is called a set hand. That's where you can act on every block of your hand. Every block can be, you can claim a discard to complete. Oh, that was a really good pass. Okay, good night. Easy win. Okay, here we go. We're going to get rid of probably the West, I think. We'll get rid of the West first. We could Pung the three, Pung the four, Kong the five. Let's get rid of the West. West win. Four months. Wow, Jerry. That's excellent. Nine dots. Nine bamboo. That's good work. Keep up the good work. Okay, we do not need the 8-bam. I try to discard 8-bam, really two, uh, 1, 2, 8 in bams and cracks, and then the dragons if I'm not going to use them. And that way I can kind of sabotage that big year hand. Some people think that's a bit ruthless, but if anybody's playing that big hand, I don't want to hold on to those tiles. Oh, we got a flower. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it because if we get a one crack in a red dragon, we could still play that pair hand. Red dragon. Okay, there's a red. That, that would be part of the pair hand. And incidentally, that's the fourth hand down Eight under bamboo. consecutive run. Two bamboos. We do not need that four. Four bamboos. East wind. One bamboo. We can get rid of both of these. Four dots. We don't need any of these tile. These two. Eight, nine. One dot. So we're three away. Although if the three, four, five go down, I'm going to take them. Red dragon. We could end the game on a high note, especially now that there are two reds out. There are only four of everything, and you cannot use a joker with a pair. Eight bamboos. West wind. Oh my goodness, yes, Joan. I have. I actually am just coming out of a losing streak. And incidentally, whenever I am in a losing streak, I play consecutive run category. If you play the consecutive run category, keep four numbers in a range around your multiple. Stick with that category till you break your streak. That is the most flexible category on the card. So if you just Three gather months. four to five numbers in a range around your multiple, you'll win again. Eight, Sooner rather than later, probably. Six, That's six, the way I do it because it can be very discouraging when you lose again and again and again. I get discouraged. I was very discouraged last week, actually, because that was when my uh, losing streak was happening. <laughs> Thankfully, I was at a point where I needed to start filming more videos, and so I had to break away from the, the game in order to film. And so I kind of took a break, and that's another great way to break a losing streak. I'm actually going to create a special video on breaking a losing streak, so you can look forward to that and different Nine. ideas, different strategies on how to break a losing streak. I've been studying uh, poker. I've played poker a bit in my life, and um, I've learned a little bit about strategy with poker, and I've also been studying on losing streaks with poker, and I'm going to try to apply some of those ideas to Mahjong. Yeah, definitely, uh, Josephine. That is definitely one. Taking a break is definitely one way to break a streak, because a lot of times it gets into your mind and that affects your game. That's called being on tilt. If you get on tilt, it affects your attitude, and that negative attitude can be problematic uh, with your level of confidence, your frustration. Not only that, but it's kind—it's of, not a lot of fun to play with somebody who's on tilt. 
So sometimes taking a break is good. Okay, now there's a one crack out. We need that as our pair. Six bamboo. I think definitely, let's see. Yeah, definitely it is very frustrating. Uh, seven dot, I'm getting rid of that. Let's see. Uh, seven dots. Let's see. Oh, hi, Maureen. Hey, good to see you. We're just getting ready to end the game, though, the session, but I'm glad you came by. Winds are exposed. Get rid of flowers. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's a good point. South, north and south with flowers, maybe. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pung and get rid of the flower. Thank you for that heads up, Bonnie. That is an excellent call. Somebody has flowers. Not ready. Okay, so three, five. Three there it is. Pung. Pung. All right, we have one more tile to discard. Eight characters. Hi, Andrew. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, we're just getting ready to finish this game and sign off. We've been on for a couple hours now. We start at 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to catch other live streams, come join us. Next week will be Hong Kong Mahjong. After that will be Siamese Mahjong for American Style. Third Sunday will be Ricci. Any month with five Sundays will be MCR, Mahjong Competition Rules. I've been practicing a lot with Mahjong Competition Rules. Get rid of that seven. There's the last one. Seven dots. Oh no, Mary, <laughs> you, you ended up in a Hong Kong game. How did you fare? <laughs> That's kind of a rude awakening when you try to join an American table and end up in a Hong Kong game. <laughs> Are you on your iPad? Okay, two bam, we don't need. Okay, we need a five crack. If we can get that five crack, we'll be ready to win on a one, but everybody will know what we're playing. Right now we could be playing one of two hands. We have a big wall left. We're now going into the end game, so this hand is completely viable. We'll get rid of that. There's one nine crack out. That was the first five bam. Oh, shoot. I'm glad I got rid of it, though. All right, very nice. Okay, that's going to do it for games. All right, let's see, Andrew, question about seasons. What are they for? We only play American now. Uh, the seasons are, don't matter in American Mahjong. A flower is a flower regardless of whether it's a flower or a season. So the number does not matter for American Mahjong. Okay, so uh, plet one, very nice. Yeah, plet one. Um, okay, Mary, yep. <laughs> you didn't win. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, yep. I think that we'll we'll go ahead and. Uh, does anyone have any questions? I know American mahjong is is a bit different, especially if you're coming from an Asian version. It is uh, different, and it might feel very uncomfortable to watch and play, but it's a lot of fun, and it is just as gratifying and challenging as any other version of mahjong. It's all good. It's all good. So I want to, let's see, how did you end up in fourth? Um, because I threw the winning tile, so I got fourth place. You don't understand how they choose fourth. It depends. If you throw the winning, uh, you're welcome, Sil. Um, it's my pleasure. If you throw the winning tile, you're going to be in fourth place. If it is a wall game, if you are a VIP, you'll be in first or second. Uh, otherwise, if you're a free player, you'll probably be fourth. But it really is arbitrary. It doesn't really matter. Um, unless you throw the winning tile, then you're penalized. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Irene enjoyed the live stream. Excellent. Thank you. I'm so glad these videos help. That's why I do it. Okay, you're welcome, Kim. May all your picks be keepers. Absolutely. The feeling is mutual. Um, okay, Donna, I did not see your question. Let's see. Always fun and great learning experience. Okay, excellent, Jane. Thank you. Yep, Siamese Mahjong is going to be in two weeks. Uh, Maureen, have a great week. Okay, Donna, what was your question? Let me see. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. Oh, there it is. Maybe a stupid question, but can't uh, three can't the other players see what you're doing during the video? Yeah, I mean technically they could um, if they play the live stream on YouTube and then play the game and have maybe two monitors going, or listen to the live stream and play the game. But uh, I have full confidence in the community here that we're fostering and building, and I don't think they would do that. I think uh, the, all these people are above reproach, and I don't think they would hold the live stream against me. Also, there is a little bit of a delay in the live stream just with technology, so I really don't worry too much about that, but you are right. They probably could watch the live stream and play the game and get some information about my hand. But as you see, I won probably three or four times tonight. I think three. Did I win three hands? So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's an issue, but that is a good point. Okay, Andrew says thank you. Thank you, too, for coming. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Um, taper down and sign off. I just want to say thank you so much for coming to the live stream. I love building this community and I've really enjoyed making some really great friends. I hope you had a good time. I know this uh, live stream can be a little uh, hard to get used to with the social interaction going on. If you want more focused strategy, look for my strategy videos and my other exercises. For American Mahjong, they're all going to be red, white, and blue thumbnails. You won't get any chit-chat in those. It's going to all be straight gameplay commentary. These live streams are very social, so we're going to have a lot of interaction. And it's um, kind of like playing in a real game. There's always chit-chat at the table when you play in a game. And that's what live streaming is for uh, playing at Mahjong Time with the live stream and commentary. So uh, if you're watching the repost, thank you so much for sticking through, and I hope you enjoyed the session. And uh, just to reiterate, first Sunday's American Mahjong, second Sunday's Hong Kong, third Sunday is Siamese Mahjong using American Mahjong rules, fourth Sunday is Ricci, fifth Sunday is Mahjong competition rules. And those are um, all done unless something comes up in my personal life that keeps me away, um, illness and what have you. So for the most part, I really try to hold to that schedule. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, there will be a little gray bell that shows up. Click that bell and that way you'll get notification when I post videos and when I go live. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, May all your picks be keepers.